What's up? Yes, I got a haircut. I'm not sure how I like it, but let me know what you think. This is quite possibly the most popular topic in the self-improvement space. These types of posts, like this one, get a lot of views and engagement, and that's kind of why I'm making it, but I want to bring a new perspective. But the posts in question are the ones like the best side hustles to start in 2023, the best online business model in 2023, how to get rich and stop being so poor in 2023. Please click now or you will have 10 years of bad luck. I'm tired of the last one too. And all of these videos, posts, or articles lack one big thing, and that is a big picture overview of online business. They focus more on the tactics and the methods and the outreach special strategies, the flavor of the day outreach strategy in order to gain more clients or do whatever it may be to make more money right now. As always, there's nothing wrong with this. I have nothing, I have like nothing against this. I watch it all the time happen online. I watch some of the videos myself, but I am here to bring a new perspective and potentially open some minds to a new route that you can take. And the problem here is that every single person on this planet is wired to want that quick fix. I did and I still do to this day. I want the quick fix and I have to step back and remind myself that that success doesn't come instantly. And I've proven that to myself, right? It helps when you have experience to bank on, but the beginners, they don't have that experience. And so they get trapped in this loop of quick fix, quick fix, quick promise, latest best business model in 2023. Let's make it happen. And then you go through a cycle of failures like myself, where you can watch previous videos of mine where I talk about my story, but you have to go through the failures. There's no escaping it, but maybe just maybe this video can help a beginner start on the right path because the quickest fix is the longest path or accepting the longest path rather than jumping to one thing, then another, then another, just to come back to the longest path and then make it work. And so what I'm here to tell you is that the latest and greatest strategies or tactics or business models may not work. And if they do, if they do work for you, they probably won't be around in three to six months because you're fighting other bottom feeders that lack purpose behind their work. And that is because these bottom feeders don't really like that term, but that's what they are. They are in a state of survival. They have not mastered themselves. They have not gone through the self-improvement or the mental work. Benji just moved the camera in order to break out of that state of wanting that quick fix. So that's all they can see because their mind is so narrowed on this desired end result that the only that's the only thing they can think of. They can't zoom out and see it on a 10 year, 20 year, 30 year life's work perspective. And so you can see this right now in the short form content agencies, the ones that are creating like reels, TikToks, shorts for certain creators, or even on Twitter, if you're in the Twitter space, the ghost writing, that's a very popular agency model right now. And they're both very lucrative. Don't get me wrong, but you have to understand that I personally, this is why I'm like talking about this is I get a hundred DMS and emails a week about hiring someone to give me the same Walmart quality captions on a reel that isn't going to help grow my brand. Like the subject line is, hey, do you want more views? Do you want more subscribers? Let's blow up your account. Let me create these captions in CapCut and be the same as everyone else and expect it to work. People don't care to get good, they care to get money. That's a brutal mistake that I made and you will too. So treat this as a seed of awareness that you will register as you were going through your mistakes and failures on your business journey. Because if you're chasing the quick bucks with the latest strategies, you have about three to six months before you need to pivot, therefore you need a big picture overview of business or give up or prioritize becoming the best in that space. If you're gonna do the captions or you're gonna do the ghost writing, it better be a five to 10 year long fucking game plan where you are the best in the business. So what is the best business model of 2023? The best business model is an actual business model, not a side hustle, not free online surveys that pay you five cents for every survey you complete. It's not investing your weekly allowance into crypto. A business has to generate revenue, you need cash flow. A business has the ability to scale, pivot, and position itself in the market regardless of algorithm changes and trends. And half of the short form content marketing people will be out of a job in six months. They will because they don't understand 
marketing. They understand a little piece of marketing, which is short form content, but do they understand long form? Do they understand how short form fits into the funnel? Like what's the quantifiable end result that you're giving with short form content? Is it more views? Because frankly, most people don't give a shit about views. Is it cash? Because then you're going to need a unique system or templates or strategies for actually converting short form content into leads or cash because short form content is usually very shallow and that does not nurture a lead into becoming a high paying customer or a loyal customer, right? I'm not talking about direct response here, go and fill this out in the funnel that's already created, right? Because short form content agencies do very well when they target a creator or a brand that already has a funnel that is converting leads, but your short form content is just driving a tiny bit more traffic. You're not the reason behind their success. And you need to understand the reason so that you can eventually iterate on your offer into order to make it something that gets results for anyone you want. Money is the lifeblood of society. It is the fabric that holds society together right now. And so on a micro scale, right? So money being the lifeblood of society, blood, when it stops flowing to your hand, it will die. So if blood stops flowing to a certain space in the online business arena, it will die off. And so if your business that does not fuel the market or provide blood to the market, then your business will die off. And therefore your sense of purpose will die off because that's the thing. If you aren't making money, that means you aren't contributing to society. And that means that you aren't, you aren't contributing to something that is greater than yourself, AKA having a purpose. So business is the modern vessel for living with purpose and business is a vessel for your value. That is what it is. Online surveys and prescriptive business models that you find online and most jobs are soulless. A business has an offer and a traffic source. And this is a universal principle beyond business. An offer equals value and traffic equals people, right? So if you do not have an offer and you are not putting it in front of people, then you will not sell that offer. Or if you have a lot of people, like you've built an audience, but you do not have an offer, then you aren't going to make money. The same is true with relationships. If you are a valuable offer in this lens and you put yourself in a group of desirable people or the people that you want to meet, because you can also go into a group of people that you don't care about or don't care to form a relationship with, you have to match those two, right? Or if you go into, uh, let's say, a bar scene where there's a lot of people, but you are not a valuable offer, then you are not going to sell or convert. So let's talk about the dynamic traffic source, right? Because we need traffic before we need an offer, which we'll talk about soon. But I'm not a fan of putting yourself in a box. And I am bullish on the future of the creator economy, which we talked about in the previous video, the future of the one person business, because the creator economy is the new economy, regardless of if you want to become a creator or uh, start a business, right? It's the new economy. That's where people are hiring from. Brands and employers are finding the value that you post online and are hiring from that. So the resume is becoming slowly outdated and the public resume, AKA your personal brand, regardless of if it's a business or not, is how you are going to make money in other areas than just business. And so that's why I am of the belief and have the philosophy that everyone should display their value online or start some form of a personal brand because it is the closest thing to a one size fits all traffic source there is for business, right? Even if you don't start for business reasons and you gain, let's say 50,000 followers and you get a job and you get all of these other opportunities because that's where opportunities come from, then you can start a business right away if you have that. And the other thing is that a personal brand cannot be replicated there. We I've talked about this so many times. There's no competition. There's no saturation. If you actually build a personal brand. So with a personal brand, you don't have to rely on ads. You can talk about whatever you want. If you sprinkle in content related to your offer, see the previous one person business playlist. You don't have to rely on cold outreach for long. You build an audience so you can do whatever you want. Eventually your business doesn't die. When you stop doing the manual work, you aren't cornered into a specific niche, like how Zuby 
on Twitter and other social media platforms, not only talks about politics, but makes music and sells fitness programs. Most people just can't get out of the scarcity mindset of needing to land clients so their content feels limited and boring. And along the way, you just meet incredible people that you wouldn't find in real life, right? You get connected with the like-minded people that resonate with your content. And so I've been doing this for like three years and I've had two great friends along the entire way and I actually went to go and see them this past week in South Carolina and Tennessee. We hung out, we had incredible conversations and you can tell in this video and the last video, my energy is just up, right? I'm ready to go, I'm carb the fuck up. I've been eating so many carbs, like 500 grams a day, still not gaining weight, I'm trying to lean bulk. But here's a picture of us by the lake, Justin, Joey, or Justin C. Scott, Joey Justice, and your boy that used to have long hair, rest in peace. And frankly, you just won't find those conversations in everyday life. You have to be intentional. And the digital world is a great way to put your intentions out into the ether, as Justin Scott would say. So the lesson here is that your personal brand should be considered the foundational traffic source for your offers, right? A lot of people are worried about selling a business, even when they haven't started. It's against the point. Stop worrying that late into the future. But personal brand. I plan on doing this for or having mine for the rest of my life. I don't plan on selling me, right? But when I have that foundational traffic source, like I do now, I have a good amount of followers, then I can build another business and use my personal brand to fuel it. And as long as I'm not too closely tied with that, I've learned, I can eventually sell that business and make it successful 10 times faster than someone else could without a personal brand. Because I have that loyalty. I've nurtured the audience and the business that I built or the businesses that I build are going to reflect the values that I have in my personal brand and it will be an extension. Therefore, previous customers and my following will be able to fuel that and I'll have a network that just can send massive traffic to it and help me promote it without paying like so much money for influencer marketing like other brands are doing. I can get it for practically free. And so the other thing is that paid ads are another traffic source, but if more people know your name and you're running paid ads to your audience, then the conversion rate goes through the roof. And the same thing with cold outreach, where if I'm DMing my audience or people have just seen me around the space because I produce content, then they're going to be 10 times more likely to reply. Or if I have a hundred thousand followers, they're going to feel obligated to fucking reply to me. I don't really like to think of myself that way, but that's what happens. Right. I got it. The, the first thing that made this click for me is when uh, someone with like 50K DM'd me when I barely had any followers and started talking to me about their services. And I was just like, oh, my God, I'm talking to this dude with 50,000 followers. No way. And I bought his services. Right. You're just more open to the people that display and have authenticity and value to provide online. And you can pivot whenever you'd like because your content shouldn't be, at least under my philosophy and what I teach, your content shouldn't be limited to a specific topic or a niche. It is limited to value. And value is ideas written from the lens of a specific goal or problem, regardless of the topic. Topics here just help with idea generation. Like if you write about self-improvement, business, and spirituality, those are great, but you're only using those to find content in order to generate ideas. In essence, Nobody cares about the topic. They care about how anything and everything will benefit their life. We are selfish creatures. So let's talk about the experience model. In essence, you help people that are at point A where you were before and help them get to where you are now with point B. And you have content and products in between that with knowledge, experience and systems. And that's how you make money. And I've talked about personal branding and content strategies in the past. So we're leaving the traffic source of this video at that, you can go and watch my other videos. Instead, I want to focus on offer creation, right? A product or service, because most people think that they need the perfect customer avatar, the perfect system, curriculum, or coaching structure, a fancy physical product with perfected supply chain management, prior results when you need to actually work with someone to get results in reality. This is a harsh truth for many to accept because there are also many negative connotations that come up with it. If negative connotations don't come up, then you're in a great spot. In reality, you need to know more than someone that is one step behind you. And you can see the terms, the age of information, the attention economy, knowledge is how you catch attention, like in a sense, knowledge is how you communicate information. Information is how you capture attention. So in this modern business landscape, knowledge 
is king. I sound like fucking Ty Lopez. I don't want to sound like Ty Lopez. Knowledge. And so another thing is that everything in this world goes through developmental stages. We talked about in the last video how your community that you attract evolves. They set new goals. You evolve. You set new goals. You are not static. If you stick to one niche, you're fucked. In my eyes, you're not really. But your, your purpose, your sense of fulfillment from your work is fucked. And so business is no different as a whole, where it comes in stages, beginner, intermediate, advanced. So you trying to make $100,000 or you trying to make a million dollars from the start is just going to cause overwhelm. You need to break down that goal into manageable chunks and focus on the levers that you have to move as a beginner, which are going to be different at the intermediate stage and different again at the advanced stage. So be mindful of who you are learning from and what lens they are teaching from. I'm trying to teach from a beginner level here, but other people, they could be teaching from an advanced level and it's just going to cause anxiety, overwhelm, and a lack of results because you're focusing on the wrong things. So we have to start small and that's why I like to help people at the start create what I call a minimum viable offer, which is like a minimum viable product, but offer is kind of more encompassing of both products and services. I like to start with a service and in this case, that service revolves around a single single skill or interest. Don't go learning 8 billion, learn one. Because charging the big bucks takes time, experience, and multidisciplinary skill acquisition while building in the real world. Not reading about working with customers, but actually working with them. So with that skill or interest that you learn, you immediately turn it into a freelancing, coaching, consulting, or what I call a tutoring offer. And when I say skill, I mean anything like email marketing, web design, copywriting, Facebook ads, brand design, or anything else from the $1 million skill stack video that we had in the past. And by interest, I mean anything like health and fitness, performance and productivity, personal development and spirituality, relationships, or dating. And those are skills, yes, but I just want to make the distinction between skill and interest so we can understand how they apply to uh, the offers that I listed out. And so first, it's just we have to package up your offer fast. And with a skill, it should be fairly obvious, right? It's it's a freelancing service. So if you learn web design, then it's website or landing page design. If you learn email marketing, then you're gonna write emails or you're gonna set up email sequences. You're gonna, you're gonna do what you've learned. And usually, one hack here that people don't like register is that courses, courses that you take, are usually their higher ticket service, right? Or they can be spun into a service. Like a Twitter course, as an example, like, one that you get from Modern Mastery from my community, there's like three Twitter courses. You can take those and then you apply them to someone else's business as well as your own or other than your own. And that is a ghostwriting service, right? So if you learn website design, then you're just doing that for other people's businesses. And you don't have to take a course to do this, but you will have to string together like specific YouTube videos in order to actually build something and then be able to do that for someone else. And so anyone can pick up a skill fast, start talking about what they learn, start teaching what they learn. And I've talked about this in the past as well. Just, just start teaching. I don't want to go over all the limiting beliefs you hold again. You're not an imposter. Just fucking teach what you know. But with that, that's how you attract clients if you understand how to write content fairly well. And then you pitch your offer, right? Which is for another video, and I've talked about it before again. And so another thing, just a quick plug, is that I've written or I've created 10 plus courses, 180 plus strategies inside of Modern Mastery, it's five bucks to join. Uh, there's also a two hour writer, which is like my writing frameworks for building an audience. And then there's digital economics, which is a masterclass of everything you'll need to know for actually building this, productizing yourself, building the personal brand, solving your own problems, and marketing a good product in a way that pulls in a creative income in a non-ideological manner, as in it's not limited to agencies or freelancing or coaching or whatever. It's very principles-based. So that was freelancing with a skill. Now for coaching, consulting, or tutoring offers, we have to first understand this universal principle, goal, right? We start with a goal, where your customer wants to be or where you, what you have achieved, path, your unique way of getting them there, problem, what they are struggling with now. So where you were or where they are and how are you going to help them bridge that gap? In a nutshell, that's all that marketing is. You're selling a transformation that either you have achieved yourself, you have helped others achieve, or you want to start helping others achieve. And remember that freelancers gain experience by working with clients first, right? They don't, 
Like you have to work with people in order to get that momentum rolling. And so like they don't even have results with the skill until when they start selling. You don't need results to start, right? I can go and I can look up a planner on Amazon and I can take it and I can create my own and I can put it on Amazon and start making money. Now, of course, the marketing, the sales, et cetera, those are details that come after and driving traffic to it with something like a personal brand, but that's how you make money. And so coaching and consulting offers are fairly obvious, right? You help them with something like health, productivity, or performance in their life, and you walk them through it. So this structure that we go over, we're going to go over a structure for a tutoring offer because I feel like more people can benefit from that. But the same structure is applied right? Consider it the same structure as a coaching or consulting offer. And so for a tutoring offer, I prefer this over freelancing because you don't have to do the work for them, right? It's more fulfilling. You can take on more clients. You can scale a tiny bit faster, but in essence, you are teaching them the skill, right? So a freelancing offer was mainly skill-based. So is a tutoring offer. So this is less about personal development. This is more about you acquiring a skill through your self-education and then going on to teach it to others and think of it like you're walking them through a course one-on-one. -on -one. So you're teaching them how to write an email newsletter. You're teaching them how to edit a YouTube videos. You're teaching them how to write social media content, or you're teaching them web or graphic design because with this, you can target a more beginner level, right? So you open the amount of people that can actually use your service because most people like with the short form content agencies, they're going and they're trying to target these people and flooding the market when in essence, they could just go and teach a creator because the creator economy is booming they can go and teach a creator for four calls how to actually go and create those right but you have to be somewhat good i wouldn't recommend doing this with walmart quality cap cut captions and so with this as well is that the results from this transfer over into a course or digital product much easier right so you're able to flesh out an offer stack much 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 quicker because you teach someone you get them results you actually have something to show for it because hopefully you're having them create a project and you can show, hey, my students have created these projects. And then you turn your entire curriculum or your coaching offer or tutoring offer into a course. And now you sell the course. So you open up more room for more people to afford your actual products. And then from those products, buyers buy again, principal and business, they will sign on with you to actually walk them through it one-on-one -on -one to learn and hold them accountable. So you're increasing your income that way as well, faster. And so the reason you're doing the tutoring offer instead of a course first is because you can charge more and increase prices to like $2,500 plus after a few clients. Of course, this is variable and it, it's a progression. You don't have an audience or traffic to bring in consistent course sales yet. You don't know what gets results yet. Even if you think you do, you don't, you have to work with people. And that's why you work one-on-one -on -one and refine along the way. And you can use direct outreach methods or different strategies to acquire clients. You weren't banking on the audience. Instead, you were doing more manual work up front because that's a beginner strategy that you have to do before you get to intermediate or advanced. And then as your audience grows alongside you, then you can wean off of that. And so in short, it's easier to make a $1,000 sale than it is. It's easier to make a $1,000 sale than it is 100 sales, right? You have more control over your income. And then once you do that, and once you realize that, it's incredibly liberating. And so coaching, consulting, or tutoring offers consist of a few things. So the first thing, it's a structure for what you are going to teach them. And this revolves around point A and point B, the problem and the goal, right? And then how you fill that, right? What are the steps in order to reach that goal? So take out a notebook and actually write this down. What is the promise, right? Are you going to help them create one fully edited YouTube video as the tutoring offer. And then the problem is that they don't have a skill. They aren't able to break into the online space, even though that's where the world is moving, right? Marketing. And then from there, how would you teach them, right? What do they need to know? What did you learn? Is it the overview of like an editing software and then how to actually cut things and structure the video? And then after that, it's like color grading and B roll. Then after that, it's exporting and uploading to YouTube, right? So that's four calls, boom. And so the second thing you need is weekly calls. This is just like a general structure of most offers, but weekly calls in order to walk them through that structure or curriculum or outline. And so I recommend selling or starting with, because you just need a place to start and improve from, is four calls, right? Once a week. And so you want to start with four calls instead of one, because that allows you to charge more. And so your efforts go a longer way, right? You don't want to charge like 100, 200 for a consulting 
call when you could charge 1000 at the start for a pack of four calls and then increase more. And then you have to take on less clients, do less work, and you're able to focus your efforts more on actually building leverage for your audience so you can wean off of that. And so what you do on these calls is you just walk them through the structure. You teach them exactly what you need to know. Think of it as a live tutorial. And then towards the end, you answer any questions they have, what they're struggling with and things like that. And so the third thing that I recommend is weekly action items and text access. So at the end of every call or at the end of every week, you can write this down in your notebook as well, is to give them action steps. What do they need to do? Right. So I recommend like having a desired end result for the offer as a whole. So if it's YouTube editing, it's having a polished YouTube video. So every week, what do they need to do? What do they need to deliver to you? Right. And then the text access with like Telegram, WhatsApp, or just giving them text on your phone or a Discord channel private to them or something. And then you they, they can ask you questions whenever you want, get feedback and all of that fun stuff. And so another example, just to paint this picture more, is if you were selling something like graphic design tutoring, what's the desired outcome? Is it like uh, creating one polished social media post or an Instagram carousel? That's the project. Right. Or if you're teaching coding, like a, a small coding boot camp, what's the outcome? Is it a final HTML and CSS web page, right? Things like that. And so in, in terms of charging, right? That's always people's question. What price do I charge? What do I do? Just slap a price on it and test it out. Again, quick fix mindset is going to fuck you up where you could slap 5,000 on it. Try it out. Try saying 5,000 when you're talking to people and see what happens. And then after that, they're going to say no. You're going to get a bunch of no's and then you learn through trial and error. And then you refine your process to the point of actually selling in accordance with the value you have to provide but i would recommend starting at like lower right so you can increase because it's harder to decrease so start at like 500 to a thousand for a pack of four calls and then as you get results as you get more confident increase the price from there and so even better at the start i would recommend helping people for free in the creator economy specifically because you're building online you're networking with other people that are uh distributing value online. And so in this case, I want to paint the picture this way, where I worked with Joey. This is how Joey and I met. We actually worked with each other and helped each other on a free call. And Joey has a testimonial for me. I have a testimonial from him. At that time, I had like 500 followers. Now I have upwards of like 2 million, right? My testimonial from him is so much more fucking authoritative than it was before. It's worth tens of thousands of dollars more because People will see that testimonial from me. They know who I am. They trust me and they will buy like immediately without reading anything else. So testimonials from creators are appreciating assets. So you don't only want to try to land big fish and try to make the most money without it's a progression. Stepping stone, stepping stone, stepping stone. And so the next thing is you can either scale your client business or you can productize, right? So there's this is the difference between like an employee business, like a regular business or a one person business. So. Uh, a lot of the people that I'm networking with right now, they're focused on scaling a coaching offer because it's very, it's lucrative, right? They, it's high ticket coaching. Uh, they can, every, a lot of people make a lot of money doing that clearly. And that's what they're doing. And so they're hiring people as coaches, training them and automating the process so they can keep scaling that onward and onward. But my preferred method, at least in this information space is to productize, right? So it's turning it's one growing large by talking about broad beginner level topics and really whatever you want without niching yourself down too much and then selling the tutoring coaching consulting offer and then packaging that up into a course or multiple courses and then that's how you scale is through low ticket and a lot of people don't like that but a lot of people don't have my results sorry not sorry so there was one million somewhere in this youtube title and that's the thing is that you scale to one million with this. It's either high ticket coaching, consulting, uh, sometimes agency work. I don't like the agency model, but it's a good, it works or through low ticket product. And that's how you get there, right? You just, it's, it's a process. It takes time and you build this leverage over time in form of an audience or a personal brand traffic source that compounds with time. And eventually one day you run a promotion, you make your first hundred, 200 K a month. And you're like, Oh, okay. I could probably hit this number and then you hit it. It's that simple. I mean, it's difficult, but it's, it's that simple. And so this took me, I had a bit of prior experience with freelancing, but I started creating creator journey, personal brand around three years ago. Right. And so that's what led me to now. And I've made a bit more than that now, but 
that's like timeline three years. If you do it optimally and you approach it from a space of experience, then give yourself three years to hit like big numbers. That doesn't mean you can't make a good amount your first year, right? Like a million dollars is a lot of money. You don't need that much. And so give yourself five years, give yourself five years to make a million dollars in this space. And I bet you can, if you commit to it. And so with that, that's the end of the video. I appreciate you watching. If this was helpful or gave you new insights, leave a comment letting me know what. Uh, other than that, join the newsletter, check out the products to our writer, Modern Mastery for five bucks, digital economics, more expensive, but highly worth it in my opinion. Of course, in my opinion, but whatever, like, subscribe, see you in the next one. Peace.